Hey guys, it's Joy Mr. Nola's Glitter. Happy Thursday. We are here today to play with temporary tattoos. So it's a new product that we have in our store. Please excuse the mess back here because I am always a mess. Um, but uh, so it's a new product that we have in our store and I wanted to hop on and introduce it to you guys and show you how easy they are and how fun they can be. So I will wait for a few guys to pop in. Um, if you get here, give me a thumbs up if you will um, like this video. So you will not miss any other videos that we have. Hey, 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 hey. All right, cool. Some of you are here. Awesome. Hello, hello, hello. All right, cool. So let me just tell my admins that I am live so somebody can come come hang out. Let's see. Um Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Chris. All right, cool. Awesome. All right, so we have, oh my God, this place is a mess. Don't look back there. Don't look. I'm going to move the keyboard because, you know, I like to make a mess and water. That's probably not a good idea. It's a hot mess. Hot mess, hot mess. Hey, girl. Hey. All right, so we have added temporary tattoos in our shop. They are live alive they are live now um it's mng temporary tattoos there's two different listings we have over 150 different tattoos to choose from most temporary tattoos you buy from amazon you get in a, a bulk package and you get like maybe one or two that you like we have decided not to sell bulk packaging or group packaging that way you can pick exactly what you want they're very affordable to pick up a couple three dollars a piece and um for the bigger sheets uh, $2 for the middle sheets and, you know, a dollar or 75 cents for the smaller ones. So, um, so this is what we're going to do. I want to show you some cool stuff. So I picked a few little favorites, um, that out of the pack that, I mean, out of, I mean, a few, like, ugh. I don't want to show all of them to you because we'll be here all day long and you guys can, um, just log on and look at that. But we do have some fun little patterns. We always worry what to do for the little kids. So these are water, these are like um, superhero inspired um, watercolor. I think these would make fantastic superhero lover cups um, if you're interested. And they these um, just you can just look up superhero. These will bring it up. Um, I wanted to show you those. Um, I say I'm a lot. Sorry. We have one that I think would be really super popular. Look at this for our healthcare workers because they are the heartbeat of our um, everything right now. So I think this is going to be a really popular one. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, we have these cool ones. I'm going to show you some of these up uh, close and personal. These are like gold metallic tattoos so you're going to get a really cool effect out of these and i'm going to show you what a couple of these look like on a cup okay then we have we have a few that are like this they are white ink tattoos so these would be the ones that you would use on a darker glitter base because essentially temporary tattoos are kind of very similar to water slide uh, except they come pre-printed in a package and you don't have to seal them before you use them. So um, you would use these on a darker color and I have a darker color cup. So we'll use one of these and I'll show you how they look on a darker color. All right. Uh, we have a lot of them that come like this. So this is a large sheet. This would be $3, but these are essentially three different decals. So um the only thing you have to do is make sure you cut off these little things in the corner, which is where they came from and like the part number that way, because that will transfer to your cup. But like this is three dollars and this makes three different ones or you can wrap it around and make make it all on one cup. So um, I love the watercolor. The watercolor ones really look good on white glitter because it picks up the glitter um, under it and it really makes it sparkly. 
Um, it's mrnolasglitter.com. That's the, that's the link to the web, the store. Look how cute. Little kissy lips, all the different, like there's a paw print and some stars and some little, you know, the little fishy one and all that. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? So we do have a few other specialty um, type ones. This is a glittered one. Look at the little princess aspired ones. It's a little pack of them. I mean, this is, this one is $2 and you get all the little sparkly princesses. Isn't that cute? We are not hiring. <laughs> this is another, this is another gold, uh, gold and silver inked one, like a metallic ink. I really love these. This pattern is just beautiful. It's really pretty. Yeah, there's a lot. Here's some other glittery ones that are um, butterflies. I got a lot of butterflies. My mom loves butterflies. So I, in turn, look at every butterfly that I can get my hands on. And so these are a couple other bigger packages. These are the large packages, which is $3. So it's a really good deal for $3 because you're not going to put this whole thing on one cup. You would break these down and put them on different cups. You know, so this is this. I don't think they're I think they're really affordable. There's a lot of wolves and um, foxes and galaxy looking type things, which is really cool for guy cups because you can really bring the elements out. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with something today. This is my favorite uh, Halloween one. This is I think this is the only Halloween one we got because I wasn't sure if I was going to get these at Halloween or not. But um, when I was growing up, when my mom would decorate for Halloween, this is what our Halloween decorations look like. And it's like retro Halloween. They call it retro Halloween. It brings back such fond memories for me. So I really love this, this little cat. It's so generic and retro looking, but I love it. Love it. Hi, Sherry. Uh, this one is really cool. This is another metallic one with the feathers. We have so many to choose from. So the ones we're going to work with today are, first of all, let me show you what I've already done. So these three packs I've actually put on cups earlier last week when we got them in. So this is this is another really pretty one. I think it's upside down here. So it has the gold uh, outline and all the different colors. This one's gorgeous. We do have some Christmas ones. They're like Christmas critters and like Christmas cats and stuff like that. Not a lot of Christmas yet. Like I said, I wasn't sure when I was getting these when I had the order. But I want to show you what this one looks like. This was a wood grain cup. I'm pretty sure we did this on a live. Look how pretty this metallic gold looks on top of that wood grain. It kind of looks like those butterflies are ingrained in that wood, doesn't it? And then I have the other one on the back side here. Isn't that cool? So that 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 is off. These butterflies are off of this sheet right here. And then I have the rest of the sheet that I can put wherever I want on different cups. Or if you want to use these as regular temporary tattoos, you can do that too. But I just loved how pretty that came out. I don't know if you guys can see it really clear, but look how pretty. This hasn't been sealed yet. I haven't epoxied it yet, but I just wanted to uh, try it out. And I love the way that looks. So this one is 28C and it go, this would go good. Well, it's upside down for some reason in this package, but that's the butterfly on here. These, these two butterflies is what I did. And I love this. Rebecca, how do you do? How are you doing? Uh, for some of them, Jessica, yes, you do, but on some of them, you don't. I just took a chance, and this one looks really good. This You can see a little bit of the wood grain through it a little bit, but not enough to where it changes the look. This is a skinny 20. This one is a skinny 20. So that was that one, which I loved so much. Um, then this one is, this pack is $2, I think. So this flower right here was, it's super gorgeous, right? It would be pretty on a white background, but I wanted to see what it would look like on a black background. And I'm not disappointed. I did lose some of the color in it, but 
the gold on it really makes it pop off this black. And you can see, you can slightly see the colors in it. Let's see if it's hitting that. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's definitely, um, it's definitely a look. I, I really like that. So you can just, they're affordable enough to where you can play around and see if it's something that you like. But I really liked the way it looked on that. And I have been looking for something to put on that. This is, uh, I think this is a cup that Mr. Nola dipped. Right. And then, so that was that one. And then the last one I have to show you guys, and then we'll get into playing with one, is we have this one, the little sea creatures or sea whatever. Um, and I put that uh, on this cup. So this was a beach cup that I had made that I hadn't put the water waves on top of it. I'll go back and put the water waves on it. But look, so it really looks like that turtle is underwater. Doesn't it look like he's underwater? Same thing with the shark up there. So it kind of, I, I kind of put it to where like he's in a lighter, um, he's in the lighter area and the shadow is at the bottom. So it kind of looks like he's really swimming through this water. Isn't that cute? So just a little something fun to play around with. If you do water slides and all that, that's cool. Uh, I just like to have things laying around so when I'm inspired, I could be like, what am I going to do with that cup? Oh, I remember something I've seen and it matches together. So sometimes that's how I create. I don't set out to create something out of something. I just create because I was like, hey, that's cute. Wait, don't I have something I could put that on and found something? So isn't that cute? Yeah. All right, so the one that we're going to be doing today, we're going to do three different ones. So I have this compass, this rainbow um, compass, which I think it's gorgeous. And I have this 30 ounce skinny, which we're going to put that on. And then we're going to, we're going to ink it around to kind of make our inks match this. And I'm going to show you how to blend it out and create a, a, a whole look, right? So we're going to do that one on that. Then I have this 20 ounce, ooh. I have this 20 ounce something. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. But I have these 3D butterflies, which I love. So I want to put the 3D butterflies all over this cup and see what it looks like. And then I have this black and gold glittered cup. Wonderlust cup. Yes, girl. Look at my Wonderlust shirt. My friend Bridget made it for me. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so proud of it. So then we have this gold and black 20 ounce skinny that is glittered and epoxied. And then I have these metallic ones. I thought we would decorate. It would be fun to decorate it all around and get some metallic colors on there. Yes, you can put them on curvy cups. Um, did I put it on a curvy cup? I don't use curvy cups, but yes, it lays down easier than a water slide because it's tattoo paper and it's kind of thin. Sorry, very thirsty. All right, so the first thing, let's play with let's play with the gold ones, the gold and silver ones on this metallic thing first. And then we'll get in. We will get in. Let me see if I can turn you down here. My desk is a hot mess. I'm using my less bitter, more glitter uh, squeegees that we have in the store. I'm going to lay my cup on here so my cup doesn't roll away from me. Okay, I have a bowl of water, which is normally not the way I do it, but I don't have a wash rag here. And then I have a part of a t-shirt that I cut up so I can keep me sort of dry. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my tattoos from this paper, this little pack here. I say that, but I can't get the dang thing open. Hi, Diane. We're coming to the store for a shopping visit in November. My son is a part of the cleft team at the Children's Hospital and has an appointment with the team. So we're coming to see you on our trip. Jennifer, that's awesome. Let me know when you come in so I can make sure I'm here. So when you take it out, your, your page, your tattoos have this protective film over the top of it. That's because the sticky side on a tattoo is that what's face up. Okay. So you leave that on there. 
Hello. Thank you for the live. So you can use tattoo paper on cups. I've been wondering how people are tattooing cups. Yep. So I'm just going to cut out my designs from my sheet. This was a large sheet. Um, and so this one would have been $3. And then you're just going to pick it up, pick it, pick it, pick it apart and cut the ones that you want out of it. The sides of these will disappear once you have it on your cup and once you put it under epoxy. So you don't have to worry about seeing, um, seeing the outline or anything like that. They're cut very close to uh, the design. So you don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to cut out all of these because this is just going to be like a Mod Podge kind of cup. We're just going to haphazardly see where we feel like putting these things and just design together. Thank you, Diane. Um, I think, unfortunately, it has shifted west, which is not good for our friends and family that way, which we are worried to death about. Rebecca being one of them who is on the on the live today. Um, so it looks as if we will be spared for the most part again. Uh, but our friends, our friends West are, are not going to be so lucky. I, as, as what the way it looks right now. So we can just keep huffing and puffing and blowing it. You don't really want to blow it anywhere because we really don't want anybody to have it. I wish it would just dissipate and disappear in the middle of the world. But I, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. That's kind of cute. That little thing. I know, Rebecca. I have uh, my friend Jill lives in Sulphur and they um, they they are having a rough go at it, too. I can't wait for all of it to be over. One more month and we can go back to living our lives until the next hurricane season. It's been relentless here this year for sure. All right, so you could have left these together if you wanted to put them together. I'm not sure how I'm going to put them on my cup. So I have just cut them all out. So now they're individual. Exactly. That's the way I feel like it. That's what I feel. I don't want it to go anywhere because anywhere, anywhere it goes is going to impact people that I don't want. Right. All right. So let's see here see what we got here. We got some leaves. We got some little cool things. I think that might look good on the black up here. I know the black would look down here. So the only, this black will probably not. So these black stars will probably not show up on my black, uh, my black top up here, these gold leaves. All right. So let's just start. We got to start somewhere. So I'm just going to, what you're going to do is after you cut it off, you're going to peel off that little protective film and it's hard. It will get stuck on your hand. All right. And if you see the tattoo is perfectly cut out, there's no um, outer portion, uh, portion of it or whatever. It's just whatever the tattoo is. So you don't have to worry about it getting to like you seeing an outline of it. I really don't want to use this sponge, but I will. But first, I will move all of these out of the way so they don't get wet. For now. I'm messy, y'all. Y'all know this. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just dampen my, just like you do with a regular tattoo. You want to dampen your skin a little bit. I'm going to put that right here. So the only thing is with the, the, Metallic ones, it takes a little bit longer to soak. Normally, I would take a wash rag, just like you did in the old school tattoos when you put them on your skin. It's basically exactly what you do to put them on a cup. Where is the site that these are on? It's Mr. Nola's Glitter. And then you just type in temporary tattoos. Monkey that monkey mama, that is a good, that is something, that's a good wish. I wish we could do the same. I'm worried about my friends in uh, California as well. So 
your tattoo is all, you can see the paper is getting translucent, right? So you can see it slides up just like a water slide paper. And then you will take your water slide squeegee that is on the floor. Oh, no, I got another one. And you would just make sure that they don't have anything under it, just like you would. Um, just like you would a water slide normally. I'm just going to take a, ta a paper towel and dab it down. So it kind of looks like gold, gold leaf on it. Isn't that pretty? I have a little bubble of something under it. So I would take my weeding pin that that is not it. I know I have a weeding pin up here somewhere because I just weeded something. Or you take your razor knife. And then I would just poke where my bubble is. And that way I'll get my water out of under it. Because you don't want you don't want to have water under it when you epoxy because it's not good for your epoxy. So there we go. There's my one little thing. I don't know what it is, but it's just going to be abstract. All right. So then let's do, I think this, this uh, gold feather would look pretty up here too. So I'm just going to slip it around. I'm going to take this backing off, put it to the side. I want my feather to go this way. I did not wet my cup. Let's see if it does any work. If it doesn't work, it does work. Normally you wet your skin. Oh, skin must be completely clean and dry. According to the tattoo paper, you don't have to wet it. So we'll see. So I just let your wash rag or your sponge or whatever uh, sit on the top because you want it to soak in. You want to so it want you want it to let go of that. You want it to um, release that sticker from the back of the paper with the water. And you can move it around a little bit if you see that it's moving. You can either slide it off or pull it up. I like to pull it up. Either way. Then I'm going to dab, 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 dab. And there is my gold leaf. I really like these metallic ones. It gives it a really cool effect. So if you see, I might have some little bubbles. That's I like this look because when you put it down, it gives it like a texture. Do you see the texture on it now? So it looks like gold leaf if you were to put gold leaf on your cup. All right, so let's see. I think we're just gonna go all the way around with the gold maybe. Let's see which other one. Maybe this compass, is this a compass? What is supposed to go up? The arrow or the thing? Or does it matter? Or is this just a compass like you're supposed to spin it? Not sure. Let me let me wait to see what you say about that. Oh, I have a little bird here. A little sparrow. Let's do the sparrow. Is that what I call it? A sparrow? Mockingbird. I'm gonna put that one right here. Let my sponge, my sponge sit on the top of it. Like I said, I normally like a wash rag because the sponge holds water and it gets, make it, I'm trying not to make a mess, but we just know it's inevitable. Weather vane pointing down. Okay. Perfect. We'll point it down. All right. Let's see if it's ready. Perfect. Take my little paper towel, dab, dab, my little leg. Okay. 
Arrow goes up pointing north. Oh, geez, the ways I make a mess. That's what I was going to use this for. You can come in. Thank you. Found it. They love me. They they watch they watch and when I say I can't find anything, they'll find it and hand it to me through the door. <laughs> All right. So weather vane, the arrow goes uh, up. Okay. So we're gonna put that on that other side. Let's see. We can put this little thing. Don't know what it is. We're gonna put that one right here. You wanted to leave room for a decal, you can, but we all know. We know that I don't do decals, right? So this is my decals. Maybe I'll save room and put, uh, I don't know. What is it? Is it a compass or is it a weather vane? What is it? What is it? An ee -oo, ee -oo, ee -oo is what it is. Ee -oo, ee -oo. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you, Micah. Tell me what it is. An ee -oo, ee -oo. There we go. Got some little over there. Where's my paper towels? I don't know. Hey, Susan, how you doing? Dab, 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 dab. That's kind of pretty. Okay, so let's see. We got another one of these little things. We got another gold leaf here. Some silver. There's only one little black. Oh, there's this one. This. I'll do the black one down here. A weather vane points to the direction of the airflow, so I think it's your choice. Dealer's choice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let me put this little arrow thingy-madoodle down here. There was no rhyme or reason to that. I just stuck it down there. Could be an arrow, could be a weather vane. It could be just like a spinner, like you're playing a game and you go. Yeah. So dealer's choice it is, huh? Well, we can see which way it's going to take up the most room and match with the rest of our stuff. And that's why we'll go with it. Nope. That one is not done. You need a little bit more water. There's one under your mat. Oh. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a diamond. Okay. We got to use that one too. Thank you. That is eagle eye, Arlene. Eagle eye, girl. There we go. Ooh, I smooshed it a little bit. I smooched it. So when you slide it off, sometimes um, you get um, a crooked little arrow, but let's just, let's be honest. That looks cute either way. Okay. So we're going to go with that. It's cute. I meant to do that. See how that goes? It's just, it has some flair. It has a little, it's got some flair. Oh no. I stretched it. Quit touching it. Still got flair. It's still there. We're good. It's all gravy. It's fine. We're fine. It's all fine. All right. So, my little arrow has some flair. All right. Um, so, instead of sliding them, I recommend lifting. If I had some sharp tweezers, which I don't know if I have any here here or not it would be easier to lift which i don't know if i do oh there's an exacto knife oh no don't put that on there so we're going to steer clear of the silver pieces altogether. so let's see where are we at here we have this feather we have that little thing we have this little thing 
So we can put our weather vane ish here, or we can put a diamond, a diamond here. And okay, let's do that. So we can put more junk on it because I have no idea about less is more. We're going to put more junk on it. So most probably you won't see that, that black diamond right there because I am going to put it on basically the black part of this glitter. So I'm thinking I'm going to be okay that if I don't see it, it's still going to give me the illusion that it's a diamond. Just be careful if you're if you're putting your cup down on something like this when you have stuff all around it that you're not scraping off your tattoos because they are they are very they are very tender or delicate until you get them under epoxy because it's just a skinny thin film that's over the top of this. So once you put it under epoxy, it's good, of course, but. Until then, it's easy to scratch up if you're not really careful. See, I like just peeling it off. Peeling it off seemed to be a little better. Hey, Andrea. She's working. She's supposedly distant learning, but she's watching her screen. <laughs> Hi, monkey. <laughs> All right. So we have this one. And bam, 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 bam. So it's not too bad. Not bad, not bad. And then we have these arrows here. I'm going to leave the weather vane off, I think. So I have these arrows I can put this way. Hi, Tina from South Carolina. Hi, Sandra. Thanks for, for coming and hanging out with me today, guys. Let's see if this one is ready. Bam. I like that one. I love the gold on the black. It really looks cool. So dab, dab, dab. So this is where we are so far. Not too shabby. My arrow is a little wonky, but you know, whatever. My arrow, my show, right? Um, so I am curious because this is a different looking gold what this would look like on this down here so we're going to give it a little whirl and see what it looks like <laughs> me and the weather channel hi elizabeth hi jessica all right so not a hundred percent positive it will show up because the gold is on gold but we're going to give it a whirl So oh, this is a pretty big one, so might take a little bit more water. I'm anxious to see if it works on the gold. Let's see. Let's see. Not ready yet. Not ready yet. Hey, Tessa. So did you guys check my spray paint um, galaxy tutorial that I recorded last week? And we had um, Micah. He did a great job in editing and put it together. That was so hard for me. I was like talking to myself and you guys weren't there to answer me. It was very bizarre to me. 
Okay, so it's not bad. I should have not rubbed it, but you can see it's a little bit's a different gold, so it's not too terrible. It's very subtle. But it's kind of subtle, so it's all right. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, Becky, you can, um, once it's dry, you can just, um, you can take a Brillo pad or a scrub brush and scrub it off. They come off. Let me keep my mess clean. Let's see. So I think, I think I'm pretty much, I think, what do you think? I think we're pretty much done with this one. And then maybe I'll save a little spot on the back to put an initial or something, like a fancy initial. I think it came out pretty good. Let me turn it up so you guys can see a little bit better. Ooh, we're, we're crooked. And we're crooked. What do you think? So you can see that moon down there a little bit. It's a different, a little bit of different gold. So this is a, this is a black, this is blackened at the top. Blackened and ala on this cup. All right, cool. So not terrible, not terrible. All right, so we'll put that over there and I'll pick up this, these wet, soggy papers and then we'll do it again. Let's see what else we're gonna do here. Let me try, I'm gonna squeeze you out a little bit. All right, so let's try the, let's try the 3D butterflies. What do you think? You wanna try this one next? And then we'll end with the ink one since it's gonna be a little bit longer. Yeah, it's really, they're, su they're simple. They're pretty simple to use, too. So I love the look of these. I had um, I had a customer that did, I don't know why I keep putting that there, that came in when we were still working at home in the garage. And um, she did some water slides with something very similar to this on a glitter cup. And it was, it popped so, so good. Um, so I think these are going to look pretty good. So again, you taking it out. This is a medium. This was $2 for this sheet. And it has this protective film over the top, right? So you're going to leave that on while you're cutting all your butterflies out. <clears throat> yeah, Micah, you should you should do your koozie. It's going to be pretty. And then we'll put a we'll put a coat of epoxy over the top of it. Pick you out a good tattoo to put on there. That's a perfect thing to put on your koozie. So I'm going to turn you down so you guys can kind of watch what I'm doing. So all I'm doing is I'm just cutting these out just like I did with the other one. So whichever I, when I can just pick out the ones that I want and place them whatever I want. If I just wanted one, I would do one. This one's going to be really gorgeous on a cup, I think. All right. So make sure whenever you're when you're using these, the this is the part number here um, that uh, we know to order or whatever, or that's how we we pull. But you have to make sure to cut that off because if not, you're going to have that that on your cup. Okay. Let's see. All right. So we got all these out of the way. Throw this away. All right. So. Exactly. Um, the tattoos are for Mr. Nola's Glitter. This is a new product line that we just added to our store. And if you are a club 504 member you already knew that we had these we keep our club 504 members in the loop they get to see all the new products before we release them 
to the regular public and they get first dibs. So if we have something that has um, low quantities or whatever, like the excess Wonderlust boxes, they bought them all before I got to release them to the public. That's what they pay their membership for. Can't tell if they have a glitter sparkle to them, but after you epoxy, could you paint Mod Podge on some areas, add some sparkle to them? Uh, Diana, yes, you could. You can actually, I have no, I don't know if you would need to wait before. Um, you might be able to do that before you epoxied. Some of them, some of the special finishes we do have, do have some glitter. Like for instance, like this one, the little, uh, Mer the little princess inspired ones, they do have a little sparkle to them, but I I'm sure that you could put a little bit more on there. Yes, I do epoxy over glitter before I put the tattoo on. So Club 504 is our, um, our yearly subscription service that we offer over um, on Mr. Nola's Glitter. If you go to the website, you'll see, um, are you a member of the club? And you can click there. It'll give you all the information. But um, it, is, um, it is an exclusive club where you receive free shipping on every order that you place during the whole year that you are a member. You get free exclusive um, products, uh, contest, giveaways, coupons, all kinds of stuff. Yes, we do have these. We do have these butterflies in the shop. Yes. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool club. There's a lot of perks to it. Um, if you want, if you want some more information, just go to our, my camera is loose here. Just go to our website and, um, Stay. What is, why is that not? Okay, is that it? Oh, I broke it. Mm. Go to our website and you can see the, you can see the information on like the first, the first page. All right. So I like this one first because it's the biggest one. So again, I'm taking that protective film off. Okay. I am going to place this, I'm trying to think of which way I want the shadow down, maybe. I'm not real sure. We're just going to place it here and go. And then we're just going to wet the back of this tattoo. Now, the regular tattoos are a little bit easier to come off. I found that the the ones that had the golden metallic needed a little extra soak time with the with the water on the back but the other ones come off relatively easy i think because it's just it's so thick the metallic ink is thick it just is, it's harder to come off a little bit thanks just for your order Hi there, Van. All right. So then I'm just going to pull up the corner. Oh, look how beautiful. Hey, Michelle. Um, Miss Susan asked, do I have to seal before we epoxy? I did not. Uh, if it makes you feel better, you can, but... Once they're dry, you want to just make sure they're totally dry. You want to make sure it sets for a little while. Let it set for a couple hours because if you have any water underneath it, of course, it's going to give you problems. Water and epoxy does not mix, but look how gorgeous. Look how pretty that one is. I still have some water underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my weeding pen Just stab it where I see there might be a bubble. So that way I can get all that water out from under it. And noth nothing's going to mess with my epoxy. Then lightly tap, tap, dab, dab, dab. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, moving on. I'm going to butterfly this whole thing up. 
All right, so let's, I like these two, these purple ones. Um, I think it's going to be really hard to see over a dark purple glitter base, Tanya, because if you can see, you can see the glitter. Look at the wings in there. So these are basically like a clear water slide paper. It's very similar to a clear water slide. So it needs that that white under it to be able to see. So you see how glittery the, the wings look? You can see through that. So I don't think that you would be able to see this, these over like a dark base. But what I'm gonna show you is you can use it on a white base. When we do the next one, you can ink around it and you can make the white base look really good. So you can ink around and make it purple, which I'll show you how to do. So I'm going to put that one perhaps right here. This is what I'm waiting for my tattoo to dry. So I came across your live. Now I can't leave. <laughs> um, this is, uh, what one is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is, this is one that I did um, for Amber, you guys can see. So this was a tattoo and uh, it was a watercolor tattoo and I inked around it to make it look like the ink was part of the tattoo and it just gives it like a full effect. So that's what we're going to do with this. We're going to take this and kind of do the same thing. But you can you can take a white background and like turn it into whatever you want. Thank you, ma'am. No that was Amber's birthday present. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this purple one is super pretty too. Jess, um, you if you put your if you put your email address in when you checked out, it'll go to your email, or you can log back into your account and click on your orders, and you can get your tracking number from there. So there's the purple. Yes, Amazon does sell tattoos, but you cannot buy single tattoos that I have found on Amazon. You usually get a pack and you usually get a bunch of random ones and like one or two that you uh, one or two that you use. So um, these you just buy whatever pages that you want. So either way, I would appreciate if you guys supported me. Um, but you definitely I have that's where I got all my tattoos when I learned from was from tattoo. I mean, from Amazon. So this one is. Um, what is it? Clarity. So this one is Clarity on here. It's a Marikee collection. On a white base. That's my go-to glitters. I love, I love that my that glitter because it's a 0.25, so it's not super, super, super chunky. But whenever you put water slides or clear cast or whatever, these tattoos over the top of it, it really makes it sparkle. I'm going to try to keep everything kind of central so I can put um, a name on this, perhaps, if I get, if I'm feeling froggy and decide to personalize it. My mom sees this, she's going to have a conniption. Um, that right now there is not a discount code. Oh, that one's beautiful too. Look at that one. All right. I like that. I really do like these 3D ones a lot. All right, so let's see. We need uh, maybe this blue. I do have one. I do have a glow in the dark 
cup set over here. Uh, this is uh, Anne Rice, which is my favorite, our favorite best selling glow in the dark glitter. And I was thinking about putting that hol the Halloween on here. So I, I have a, I've only made like 400 Halloween cups. I've made more cups for Halloween than I have probably this last year. I just have a thing for Halloween. So that'll probably be another Halloween cup, to be honest. Uh, we're hunkering down. We're hunker downers here. Um, I think it's turned west, so I think we'll be all right for the most part. We might get a lot of rain, but uh, for the most part, I think we're going to be all right here. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I just love them. I love the 3D look on them. So I need one right there. It's the next place I'm going is on this side. And I bet you this would look really pretty with like a holographic name on the side with like holographic offset. Beautiful. Right here. And I... There might be rhyme or reason, like, for your design, but I, I'm a, kind of a fly by the seat of my pants type of thing. So I'm just like, hey, let's put that there. And then I usually work around what I've done after the fact. Maybe that's not the way to do things, but my brain doesn't think normally. Maybe I can put this down there, this little piece, so I don't have to use so many paper towels. Yes, I use, wait, what did I use? Where did it go? I used Clarity. It's um, one of the Marikee glitters. I used Clarity on this one. That is pretty. That is pretty. But any of the Marikee glitters would look perfect under here. They all have different shifts to them. So you can't go wrong with any of them that you have. Maybe there. Put, um, let's see, put this one over here. I think I'm going to try to put the name right there ish. I shouldn't have put that all the way back in there. That's way too much water. I just, I like to have them. Um, Cindy said, tattoos are not as forgiving as water slides, uh, but I love them. I like that I don't have to print them. <laughs> That's what I like. Uh I have issues with printers and print and cut and everything under the sun. So I like that I can just have these setting to the side. And if inspiration hits me, I can be like, oh, butterflies, I got that. Um, so I also like the Crafty um, crafty Thrive-In's clear cast for that same reason. And it's way more durable than water slide for sure for that one. Yeah, I don't like weed neither. All right, so let's see. I got two more tattoos to do. So I think I'm going to put them like strategically here and here. And that way this will be, I can do a name kind of sideways-ish when I get done. Which it'll probably be my mom's name. <laughs> I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to do two for one tattoo. How about that? Again, taking the packing off. Dab, 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 dab. There's, um, if you don't want to use a sponge, you can use a washcloth or a paper towel or something like that. I don't have a washcloth here and the sponge is kind of messy because it squishes everywhere. So whatever, whatever you have and whatever works for you, there's no right or wrong way to put a tattoo on. There's 
that one. And there's that one. Jules, I bet you can. Jules said, can you apply these to candles? I bet you can. Once they're dry, as long as you don't handle them, I bet you can. You can put, Nicole said, can you put these on a clear cup? You can. If you're going to seal the cup, yes. Um, but I, I don't know if you could put it on there and then like use the cup. So I'm going to dab this off really quick and then I'm going to hold it up and show you guys our beautiful tattoo. Oh, I need to figure out what am I doing with my camera? It's screaming at me. Look how pretty. And that little space is where I'll put the name. Isn't it pretty? And really it's, it's, doesn't take that long. So if you have a cup that you just need something quick, put a quick coat of epoxy over some glitter, put a tattoo on it, another coat on there, you're good to go. All right, so we've done that one. All right, so I think that was all the ones we we're gonna do. And now we're gonna move on to the big boy. We're gonna put you down again. Wow, what have I done here? Why is it loose? Hey, hold on. Don't look over there. There we go. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks, Jules. All right, cool. Now we're going to go to the big boy. So this is a skinny 30. All right, I have my don't be rolling, go nowhere thing in my doodle, right? Pretty sure that's not what it's called, but that's what we're going to call it today. Don't be rolling nowhere, homie. Okay. We are going to use this beautiful compass one. And it's going to fit pretty much our whole cup, which I love. Oh, Van the Cup Man said, I use these on my sliding glass doors so peeps don't go through them. That is a good idea. Oh, this one did not have a protective film on it. Or did I already rip it off? I did. I ripped it off. Okay. So it did have protective film. I just ripped the whole sucker off. So I will make sure to cut the two pieces of things that I do not want on my cup. That and the part number. We don't want that. And I'm actually going to trim this around so I can see a little better where my placement is once I get it around my cup. Alrighty. All right, so does this have north? Um, does this say north or south on here and I'm not seeing it? Hi, Melissa. The white glitter on this one is probably Celebration. Pretty sure this one was Celebration, which this was my birthday glitter. But again, any of the marquees will work on here. Hi, Nicole. Okay, I don't think I see a north or south, east or west on here. So I'm just going to put the this one north how about that that's my story and i'm sticking to it right so i'm going to find the smoothest part of my cup this is a one part of a cup that just has one coat of epoxy so it's not perfectly 100 percent smooth and i don't care it's going to work for what i needed to work it for All right, so this is the tattoo I'm going to use. I'm going to put it, I'm actually going to take a pencil and trace that because I want it on there relatively straight. So see what I'm doing is I'm taking, I'm drawing a line to where that that is so I can basically make sure it's straight when I put it on my cup. How about that?
Alrighty. And I'm committing. So we are going to wet this down with my sponge. Make sure it's nice and wet. So this is a bigger one, so it might take a little bit more water and it might take a little bit more manipulation, but it's okay. It'll be fine. And then we can put the water to the side and I can quit making a mess. Melissa, we just added them to the website. Look how beautiful. If you didn't do another thing to that, that is gorgeous. I don't care who you ask. Isn't that pretty just like that? If you didn't have if you didn't do another thing to that and you put a decal on that, that's a gorgeous cup. That is pretty gorgeous. And all you did was stick a tattoo on there, so this will break this will help you make quick cups. If you have craft fairs, whatever. I think that's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Oh, my heart's beating fast. I love it. So I am going to make sure it's dry. We're going to put all the water up because then we are going to ink it. Okay. The name of the other glitter was Clarity. It's the Marikey Collection Clarity. So I have one little bubble right there. I'm going to pop. But other than that, one right there. Oh, I'm in love. I am in love. Um, Bambi, we got the ta I, we have these tattoos on our website. MrNolasGlitter.com. You can um, look under temporary tattoos. And this one was number 32, 32A, if you need the number for that one, 32A. Um, how long does the glow in the dark last? I'm not sure how long it lasts. It's pretty bright, though. I think it lasts a pretty long time. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the water so I do not make any more of a mess. LOL. Okay. I'm going to dry my spot here. I am going to find a dry one of these. Okay. Um, I don't know where my phone is. So I'm going to use this tool that we have in our store. You can use canned air. You can use um, anything you want. But this is, a, this is an alcohol ink blower tool. It's by Tim Holtz. Ranger puts it out. He put it out last year. And I, we were going through a lot of canned air here when we were doing alcohol ink art. Um, and this, with just a little bit of pressure, really moves your inks around. So I'm going to show you guys. I've done, I've used this before in a tutorial, but I wanted to show you guys again. This is how I did Amber's cup that you guys just seen. So I have that, which that's what you'll find. That's what it's called. It's called um, an alcohol ink blower. Or you can use a straw if you want to. You can blow it around with a straw. You can um, dab it. You can do whatever. I'm going to use this to kind of recreate this kind of effect. Kind of like the watercolor effect. Okay. So I just seen my alcohol. Which is right here just in case I need it. I just seen the bottle that I had. Oh, right there. Okay. Um, 
then I'm going to be using four different inks today. So I figured I was trying to match the colors on here, just four colors. So I have um, all the inks I'm going to use today are from Marabou. They are, this is apple green, uh, magenta, which is on this side, purple, which is down here, and tangerine, which is up here, which I kind of should have used a yellow. Maybe I should change that to yellow. Let me change the tangerine to, to a yellow really quick. I have one right here. Yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow. Yeah, I'll use, um, I'll change it to lemon just in, uh, in case because I think the yellow and the magenta will make more of that orange when they mix together. So we'll use the lemon in, 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 instead. So that one's already opened. This one was not opened. Let me open it. Right. So opened, opened. All right. So I am going to grab um, a apron because I'm going to hold that cup up and I don't really want to get it on my new shirt. So let me grab this apron so I don't ruin my new Wonderlust shirt that I love so much. All right. Okay. All right. So this is going to be a little weird angle maybe. All right. So I am going to hold my cup. Just want to make sure when you hold it this way, you can see if you have any bubbles or whatever. It's super pretty like this. So what I want to do is maybe you should watch me this way. I'm trying to figure out the best way for you to see and me to still be able to control what I'm doing. Hi, Connie. All right. So I'm going to start with the lemon yellow. I have my little ink blower. So I am going to try to mimic these these looks. Maybe I should put some gloves on. Let me put some gloves on so I don't turn all different colors. How about that? Dun, 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 dun. All right. Now I got some gloves on. So I'm going to take the yellow. I'm going to try to hold it kind of steady. I'm going to drop this alcohol right here. And then I'm going to take my blower and then I'm going to blow it up and try to extend this design out like that. So that was the yellow. I'm going to go this way now and we're try to do the purple. <laughs> my watch is kind of stuck in here. Let me get my watch unstuck. We got these at a beauty supply store when COVID first started, when everybody was like freaking out about gloves. And uh, I was like, ooh, colors. I have small hands, so they all make fun of me because I'm the only ones that can wear the small gloves. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this pretty much level. And I'm going to take this purple. Lay it right over here. And then... You see, I'm lightly blow, I'm lightly pressing on this. Should have used the amethyst, I think. That's all right. You can get the same effect if you use a straw, but I think this, ha I have a little bit more control over this. And you can do it as close as you want, as hard, you can do it lightly. 
Now I will roll it this way because I'm going to do the magenta. We might have to go get us some more ink. We might go with that orange. So I'm again going to drop it right here. I don't really want it to run in to my tattoo. I want it to run out. And I will just layer this around to make my design go out. And if you want it to stop, you just dry, you just dry it really dry. So I'm going to flip it over on this side and do that green. So. I don't want it to go into, I just want it to go out. You want it to stop, blow it the other way. You want to wipe that off because it's too far on the back. When you get done, you just wipe it with a little bit of alcohol. So now you're just you're you're able to extend your your look of it a little bit further out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab a different color purple, and I still have that orange right there. Let me see. Hold on, I'm gonna go grab that other purple that I have. Amethyst. Okay. I should have just grabbed all the dang colors. Uh, all right. All right. So Courtney said, um, sorry, better with the white background. Um, all right. So I'm going to use this amethyst, which, ooh, it is a hot mess. This bottle has seen some better days because my purple is a little different than that down there. So you're going to see what it looks like when you start to, I'm trying to hold, it's a big baby. It is a big baby. This is more, yeah, this is more that color. There we go. That's much more that color. So now I'm going to put that, I'm going to go through, what is it? Should I need the red? I'll try the tangerine up here. No, no. Sometimes your ink starts moving before you get all your tools in your hand. So this is red orange. I might add just a teeny tiny touch of this right here to make it a little darker in between. So essentially, if you had a black and white tattoo, you could do the same thing. Do the inks work better or the black background? Um, yes, if you're inking like this, yes. But you can you can drop inks into a black epoxy and add gold and white, and you'll be able to see them. I wonder if I need a hmm. So I'm gonna put a little bit more 
We'll put a drop of this yellow. Don't move. And a drop of green together right here and make it go out a little bit. And then down here, I'm going to mix a drop of green. I want a little bit more green right here. And a little bit more of this amethyst right there. Oh. So you can do as much or as little as you want to add to your colors. Over here, I think I'm going to do a little bit. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of this, this neon pink and see if I can put it right here and bring out some of this purple here. I'm going to do the pick up some of that. So just like when you're using inks on anything else, when you start layering over, it will pick up the color of the ink under it, but it also like make and marry and create other little patterns. So right here, I need a little bit of magenta and a little bit of yellow, I think, or red orange. Oh, magenta and red, where did magenta go? Right here. So let me move all this out of the way so I can be quick. Oops. I'm making a dang mess. Shocker. When we have the weeding tool back in stock, um, it is come, Rebecca. It is they are on the way, and um, they should be here probably the first of next week. They will be. We will get them all in different colors, so you'll be able to get a different color than the one we the ones that we had before. And then these will have our little name on them as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and this right here. So I'm gonna take a drop of magenta. I don't want it to roll, so I'm not going to use too much. And then a drop of this red orange here. And then maybe I needed a little bit more drop. Okay, so now I see that I, I do like that. So I'm going to take a drop here. And a drop here. And I'm going to take this yellow and bring it here. And I think I'm pretty much done. This one um, is number 32A. So I think I'm calling that a win. Thank you. So if you get it too far on the back, which I don't care, I think it looks good. Actually, I'm going to do, all right, I should have stopped, but this is bothering me. Right here, this little spot right here. So I might go back in with, a little bit of purple and a little bit of amethyst and get a better blend right there. Make sure another finger. So I'm going to take one drop of this purple, one drop of the amethyst, and see if we can get a, a little better blend on here.
that's a little better now it doesn't look like i messed up it looks like i did that on purpose and then i have one little drop of what was it the amethyst is the it's right here so i'm gonna take one drop of that nope wrong color should have been the other one should have been the purple there we go I talk to myself when I craft. I don't know if you guys do that or not. I'm sorry if it comes off weird. All right. I like the way that looks now. So it doesn't look like I ooped it. I oopsed it. So it looks like, hey, she meant to do that. So there we go. I wish I had an original one to show you, but so, I mean, essentially you have those colors on there and if you wanted to just leave it like that, bam, you're done. But if you wanted to add a little bit more to it, extend it out, make them go a little crazy around the side of your cup, you can, um, hold on, hold on. I need a little bit more right here. There we go. No, it's not naked. Here we go. Woo! Perfect. So there you go. It's just fun to play with. Uh, I like the I like that blowing tool, but you can use a straw if you want to. You can use um um can dare you can do whatever whatever it is you need uh to get the job done it's this is just what i know i'm full of hot air i know this uh but i don't want to be huffing and puffing you know so i just use this little this little thing thing yeah Yes, um, I have the best crew uh, on the planet. I'm just saying I could be biased, but I have the best crew on the planet. They are on the ball when it comes to orders. They know it's very important for um, our customers to have their things fast. So you order, you get fast, period. So there you go. So that is it, guys. Um, if you guys decide to jump on the tattoo bandwagon, which I think you will, it's fun. Uh, it's it's easy. You get, oh, I feel like I'm crooked. Oh, I have to fix this. I feel like um, it's fun. It's easy. It, it's impressive. Even if you don't add ink or whatever, um, you still get a really good, you know, really nice effect. I'd love to see them. Please come by our Facebook group and stop in and tell us that you found us on YouTube and come hang out with all the extremely talented people that we have hanging out in our group. Um, you can find us on Instagram on, I don't know, all the other little things, the grams and the talks and stuff like that. Um, all the places, um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. When the video is over, I will have everything that I've used in this video linked below so you can one click. If you're if it's something that I've used and you're interested in and I don't have a link in, drop me a message. We will be more than happy to link you up. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. And um, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other fun things that we have coming on. And um, I think that is it for today. If y'all have, um, if y'all don't have any other questions, um, just let me know. Let's see, tattoos. So, yeah, so Micah, for some reason, it's not showing the link. Um, when you're posting the link, I think because we're live, I think it doesn't let you live link. So after the, after the, um, after the live is over, we'll be able to post the link directly. Um, but come on over and join us over on Facebook if you haven't, okay? So, hi, Jaden. How you doing? All right. Okay, so bye, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. Bye, Jaden. <laughs>
All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And uh, I look forward to seeing all your tattoo cups or alcohol ink cups or whatever. I just want to see you be creative. All right. All right. Take it easy. Bye.